Hey there everybody, this is Robin with Creative Two Time Mom. And today I'm going to be talking about continuing education as a homeschooler. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Robin and this is Creative Two Time Mom. This channel is all about homeschooling, parenthood, and thriving in the day to day. So if those sound like good topics of videos that you would like to see more of, I hope you will hit the subscription button down below. Today's video is all about continuing ed as a homeschooler. Now I have a background in education, so I think this for me was a very natural idea. When I was trained as a teacher, we had two requirements for renewing our teaching credential, and that was hours in the classroom, which as homeschool moms, we get tons of hours in the classroom in a variety of situations. And we had to do so many hours of continuing education. So for me as a homeschool mom, it just made sense. So let's talk about the why. What is the why behind continuing education as a homeschooler? I mean, we're with our kids all the time. We're constantly learning with them. Why would we take time out of our already busy schedules to look into continuing education? And this is my thought process behind it. Homeschooling is my full-time job. Yes, it's at home. Yes, it's with my kids. Yes, it looks different than teaching in the classroom. But it is something that I'm excited about. It's something that I'm passionate about. And so why would I not invest the time and the money to be better at my craft? And that's what I consider it. This is my job. For these years, I am blocking out time every day to not just be with my kids, but to educate my kids. And I think as homeschoolers, one of the main reasons we say we do this is to give our kids a great education. And if I'm not investing in my own learning, if I'm not investing in my own education, then I can't be the best teacher for them. So now that we've got our why, and we're bought into our why, it makes it a little bit easier to make that sacrifice of time and money. And the question becomes, how? How do I continue my education? How do I find good resources for being a better homeschool parent? And the answer is there is so much out there. There's so many resources that it's actually really hard to narrow it down. So I came up with a list of some of my favorite resources for continuing ed, and I hope that you will be able to take this list and it will spark ideas for you of some resources that you might have to become a better home educator. Summer is the perfect time to dive into a lot of these. We have a little bit more time. We have a more relaxed schedule. So I'm hoping you will take some of these ideas and implement them over the next few months. Now the first idea is books, and I just finished filming my reading list for the summer, so I have a whole stack of books here. I talked about how some of my books over the summer are encouragement, homeschooling technique books, some of them are classics. That's what I have in front of me here, is three fiction books. The first one is one that's going to be on one of my kids' reading lists, so I am rereading this. It's a classic that I've never read and I'm hoping that will give me some good insight into how to teach it. Another one is a, a fictionalized book set in the time period that we are going to be going over in history. So this gives me some good context. And then a classic book that I probably won't be sharing with my kids until at least later high school years. But again, it gives me some good context into what we are studying. Books are so good. Whether you are a fiction reader or a non-fiction reader, you can almost always find something that will apply to your homeschool. Maybe you're looking for some encouragement, so you pick up homeschool bravely. Maybe you're looking for a way to revitalize your morning basket, so you pick up better together. Maybe you're looking for a new book to teach with your kids in literature, so you pick up Bambi. Like I said, we I'm excited to read Bambi with my kiddos. You can always find something, maybe it's a book about, you know, your kid is going to be studying rocks in the fall, so you are picking up a DK book to educate yourself in preparation for science class. It's a great way to learn, so inexpensive because you can hit your um, local library, or a lot of times you can find them at a used bookstore. 
very inexpensive way to continue investing in your own knowledge. And while we are talking about books, don't discount the young adult section. I've already shared with you a couple of young adult books that I'm going to be reading over the summer. I think a lot of times as adults, we forget to go into the children's section. We take our kids there, we let them pick out books, but we aren't always looking for something for ourselves. But exploring the young adult section, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, you can find a lot of great resources there. My 13 year old daughter has done a little bit of looking into the adult area, but we still find tons and tons of books in the children's section for us to read together that we're both learning a lot from. Another way of continuing our education is to look for documentaries. A lot of us have Netflix or we have Amazon Prime, or you can find a lot of documentaries still on YouTube that are still good quality. Of course, you're fact checking with different sources to make sure you're getting an accurate picture of what's happening. But pre-watching, pre-viewing those documentaries will prepare you to have really meaty, good conversations with your kids and it might spark an idea of something else that you want to continue learning as well. Another idea is to subscribe to some good podcasts. Now, this wasn't something that I looked into for a really long time, but over the past six months, I found some really good podcasts that have been both inspirational and educational, some that have applied to homeschooling, some that have had no concept of homeschooling in them whatsoever, but they have helped me and encouraged me to be a better homeschool parent. One of my favorites right now is Homeschool with Moxie. I'm enjoying that one. I also found one that was all about poetry, so it's a daily poem, very short, but it's reoccurring every day. And poetry is something that has sparked my kids' interest, so I'm educating myself in that area. And when you go, you can find all kinds of different podcasts that you can have playing while you're doing the dishes in the evening or while you're watching the kids play in the yard. It's a great way to continue to educate yourself. Now, if you have a little bit more time and a little bit more money, you might look into some online classes for yourself. Perhaps you're going to invest in a teaching textbook subscription. I've considered this for myself because I am struggling with keeping up in the math with my daughter. She doesn't want to take an online class, but I'm thinking if I took an online class for myself, it would help me help her. Uh, so that's an idea to keep in mind. Sometimes you can find free classes. I just took a class from Hillsdale College about classic children's literature, which spurred me on to doing some great reading. And I think it's going to add to my discussions with my kids as they read some of these books. I'm also looking into a Shakespeare class because I want to add more Shakespeare into our homeschool day. Investing just a little bit of time each evening has really... Um, been fruitful for me personally and has also provided some great opportunities for just being a better teacher. I think that sometimes we as homeschool moms are always looking to cut corners but sometimes investing in these classes actually helps us in the long run and we have to realize that that the financial investment can actually come back fourfold when it comes to our homeschool. And the last idea does take an investment of time and money, and that is getting to a homeschool convention if you have one near you. Now, I don't have one near me personally. The closest one is in Southern California, and it's a good 12, 14 hour drive from us, and I just cannot make that time commitment. But one of the great things about 2020 is that it has shifted conventions and there are all kinds of conferences and conventions online now. So you might be putting a financial investment even into something like that. But if you've got a couple of homeschool moms in your area and come together, you could even make a weekend of it, make sort of a retreat, go to a cabin somewhere, have meals together, discuss what you're learning, even if it's in your own home. I think this would be a really great way to invest. And if you can get away, if you can get to one of these larger conferences, I can only imagine how inspirational that would be, how educational that would be. I was just watching somebody on YouTube that went to one in Illinois and she did a conference on 
um, high school transcripts. And that's not something I would have thought about. Hey, there's a class for that. And as I'm looking into high school, I'm thinking, that's a really great tool to have ready at my disposal. So if you can get away to conference or if you just want to create your own conference in your own home, I think it's definitely worth the investment. So that's the whys and the hows of how I continue my education as a homeschool mom. I think it's really, really worth the time to put this into your schedule. I can't emphasize that enough that this is our investment in our kids and this is our investment in ourselves for both our futures. This is helping me be a better home educator and it's helping me get ready for the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration. Leave me a comment down below. Can you think of any other ideas or ways to self-educate, continue education over the summer and throughout the year? And if not, is this a concept that you have tried for your own personal growth before? I would love to know how we are growing as educators and parents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.